We got the world's biggest usable baseball bat. Oh gosh, please don't break anything. I'm nervous whenever this kid does it. Yeah, break your wrists. <laughs> I'll do it anyways. No, no, don't do it. What are you, what are you, psycho? Matt. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Hello, tonight at 10 o'clock. <laughs> Dope or no exceeds all standards for YouTube and moves to Netflix. <laughs> Put a record right here, Robert. Wow, there's gonna be a lot more that came from because we're looking at 10 record-breaking products. That's disgusting. I think you need to lower your chair. You're like, your hair's getting cut off. There you go, dog. He just hates how tall I am. Well, you should probably lower your chair anyway so that we're like relatively the same height. Matt just wants to be taller. I don't actually care about being taller. He said, thoughtfully. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys like where this is going, <laughs> you're gonna wanna stick around because we're looking at 10 products that are breaking records, right? That could be the spiciest things, the hottest things, sourest things, the lightest thing will be there. Product and number four, check it out. like if you want 10 products that'll turn you into a mama's boy. <laughs> You heard it here first. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. I just made that up. And we're not doing that. Nope, not doing it. So let's get right into it. You're gonna see a bunch of different of the apparently world's best things at certain areas. <laughs> Crazy, I know. Let's try it. Let's try it. So the first let's one. Try it. First one's gonna be, well, I clicked out of it, but it was gonna be something cool. Wow! Coley's world's hottest ramen. Um, here's the heat chart. Doesn't exist. That's how hot it is. <laughs> it's off the charts hot. It's actually just a dark red square. So let's take a look at this image here. We got world's hottest ramen noodles, the world's hottest pepper measuring at over 1.6 million scoville heat units. That's hot. So hot, it's triple X hot. Yeah, it's rated 18. <laughs> It'll make you take your clothes off. <laughs> what? Rated 18 triple X hot? hot? That's horrible. Why would they put that on the box? Every time they've tested it, people end up getting naked out of nowhere. And they're just like, oh, <laughs> we gotta throw it on the box now. Wait, so is this actually the world's hottest? So there's two. So this says world's hottest. Okay. But when you look up what's the world's hottest ramen, they actually give you the other link. This is also said to be the world's hottest ramen. Sam Yai, two times spicy hot chicken flavor ramen. Uh, how many Scoville units? Eight hey, shh. <laughs> Eight shoes. Wait, oh, is that eight million? Eight million. Bro, you're gonna have an ulcer after this. By the way, I can't have the spicy food because it hurts my tum tum because I have an ulcer. So Tanner's gonna decide which one's hotter. All right, let's oh, see that top down. So which one is which? Okay, so the one on your left is the Amazon one. This is Amazon, and this is what markets itself as the world's hottest. Let's take a, a sniff test. Take the sniffy sniff test, baby. <sighs> You like hot stuff though. Dude, sometimes. Oh. This ain't gonna be good for you. Sometimes like if I'll even just like eat a piece of pizza, I Didn't, will have indigestion. Aren't you in charge of writing these videos? <laughs> nope. <laughs> you, think I'm, you think I'm gonna start eating spicy food all of a sudden? What are you crazy? No, dude. Look at the stain on that fork, dude. Dude, what is wrong with this? All right, <laughs> I'm gonna... We don't have milk, so you should be fine. That was already too much. You overcommitted. You overcommitted. <laughs> is it really? It's hot. <laughs> Are you serious? I shouldn't have swallowed it. I, I literally was like, you overcommitted. That's so hot. Yeah, it says world's hottest. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even the... <laughs> That's not even the actual hottest one. One to okay. 10, it's how hot? 10 is like unbearable. This is like a six. Okay. This might make me vomit. If it's eight million Scoville units, I will vomit. Well, go for it, dude. Yeah, it's all over your lips. That's gonna burn for days. It was a smarter bite. Wow. Is that spicier? Yeah. It is? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that one's the spicier one. <laughs> 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 uh, this one travels. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> what is his job again? <laughs> He's my food giver. I literally just took a sip. Look at this. I'm disappointed with the amount you ate. It's hotsy totsy. I can't do that. Keep me away. That's the hottest thing I've ever had in my life, so. Next. <laughs> that product. is. Eight million Scoville units. Barnett's Mega Sour Rhubarb and Custard. Ew. Wow. Is rhubarb spicy? Most sour candy from the UK. Sour. <laughs> Is rhubarb sour? <laughs> what? Did you say spicy? It's like rhubarb. Yeah, rhubarb spicy. is not sour. Isn't then why? It's it's like a it's like a sweet celery almost. Who would we, who would want that in their candy? Rhubarb? Could Barnett's mega sour rhubarb and custard be the most sour candy? I got a headache. Right well, now. pucker up, sweeties. <laughs> <laughs> Intense sour taste of these extreme sour candies from Britain. I got such a bad headache. Spiciness can't give you a headache. Yeah, what do you mean? You shut up. Dude, I wow, got Wow, that is expensive. I'm seeing it in Spanish right now. Amazing sour candy. I love it. Great taste. That's one great review for me. Sold out. Ah, bye now. Now, Chanel specifically warned oh, me to be Oh, these are careful. hard. She said she gave it to her girlfriend and like she didn't recover overnight with like taste. So just don't put the whole thing in your mouth. That's now, you not good. Maybe candy. I can't have these either. Uh, here we go. <laughs> no. Do you know what upsets an ulcer? When you don't read it a bedtime story. No. That does upset me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it anyways. No, don't do it. What are you, what are you, psycho? Matt, 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> she specifically said not to do that. Dude, you were a full blown dummy dumb. That's weak. No, That's like I mean, slightly stronger than a warhead. Which means Tanner's gonna freak out. <laughs> 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 As he's crying. <laughs> hey, all of a sudden... <laughs> you got Joey's butt alive. <laughs> yeah, that hurt my stomach. <laughs> that first sure hurt my stomach. Really? Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, we told you not what to. What do you mean, what am I doing? He's gonna kill me. I am a oh, man. <laughs> Dude, I think I'm gonna vom. Well, then don't do it. I've never tasted I, I, my I sour candy. I only spit it out because it was starting to hurt my stomach. I wouldn't have spit it out if it wasn't. I don't think there is a more sour bad. candy. Yeah, it doesn't taste great. It doesn't taste I thought good. it was gonna be like gummy. <laughs> we'll keep this on the side. Maybe we, uh, that's a punishment. Vote in the poll. Who do you want us to take these to? And maybe we'll take them to it and post it on Instagram or something. We'll put like Connor. Paul, Kevin. Who else is averse to sour things? Who else is a virgin? What? <laughs> That's what I thought you said. Too. I mean, we'll go with that too. Check out that poll if you want us to torture someone. Guys, before we get into the next product, we have a like to buy. Uh, this like to buy is the Thumbs Up UK bubble costume. If you guys have ever seen the movie Bubble Boy, that's what this is. If you guys like this video 115,000 times, I will wear, you know what? I'm not, I'm gonna put it up to chance. You guys can vote in the poll up there if you want Matt or me to wear it for an entire video. But then also, the other will get to hit the other with the rubber bat at the end of it. Do you guys wanna see us in a bubble costume for an entire episode? And the other one poking him the whole time, hitting him with a bat, seeing if it's great? Or about the birthday costume? That's, uh, that's our private video that we're gonna post. Members only. <laughs> Check out our membership feature, <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, 110,000 likes. Comment down below, Bubble Boy. Our bu basic bubble baby. Next product. Now that we're in that next product, we were looking up the world's lightest solid matter, and it just kept bringing up pictures of Matt and his skin. So You're lighter than me, bro. He's only saying that because he's angry. Look, look at this. <laughs> it's just because you're lighter. looking at my shirt color. You're way lighter than me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys Dude. like soft? Learn how to insult. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know the candy made your personality sour. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, this is what the world's lightest solid matter looks like. I gotta look at KedQuest. Actual <laughs> scientist. <laughs> Kooky It's rapper. all about aerogel. Wait, lightest what? and lowest density solid on the planet. Wait, Pat, it can look like that? It can. Aerogel is incredibly strong. Aerogel can hold in compression up I'm to 4,000 times its weight in force. Look how thick that piece is that he's got. Even though it's got this good compressive strength, it is very very brittle. <laughs> Hold on, what's with this? Very brittle. The sack. <laughs> One of its best properties is its thermal insulation. The excellent thermal conductivity properties of the aerogel. <laughs> so this is what it looks like when you buy it off of Amazon. Yeah. A bunch of little boys. Can we just see it? Ah! All right, let's go ahead You tease me. Cart. So there's another video that you can look up on YouTube that basically, yes, it is heat resistant. I'm not gonna have y'all torch your hands, obviously. Why? Um, but it can also make you kind of waterproof. So if we crush into a fine dust and you put it on your hand. Oh, very You should be able to put your hand in water and it comes out dry. Whoa. That looks weird. That is oddly dense. What? You can't even see it on the camera. Go in closer. Oh my word, look, it's all over, it, it Where fell. Is it, at? it feels like styrofoam. Can you even see it on the table? What? It looks like water almost. Super bizarre. Does it feel brittle or does it feel kind of like squishy? I'm so confused. It feels like uh, styrofoam. Oh, but it's all over my wow. hands. Wow. This feels really- Oh, it's all over my hands okay, though. Okay, good, because we're gonna try to see if it makes it waterproof. Oh, it disintegrated in my hands. So there's some in my hands there and I could just literally rub it together and it disappears. Can you pour some on this hand? Yeah, try to rub it into your hands a little bit. It's not toxic or anything, you'll be fine. <laughs> Did it work? I'm freaking out. Wait, wait, it wait. worked. Do it on camera. So okay, you, I'm you tripping like, right now. You do this and you rub it into your hand. Yeah, I rub it into my hand. That is freaking weird, Pat. <laughs> I'm freaking out right now. Okay, so my, now my hand, you can tell it's very dry. Kind of shiny almost at times. A little dip and rip here. The top of it's wet. The wow. bottom is but dry. The palm of your hand is completely dry. So yeah, you're put, it's like you're putting a material on top of it. It's straight up dry. Yo, look at what this looks like when you pour a lot in your hand. There. It kind of does look like that image. Oh, what? It looks like cloudy. Yeah, it looks cloud. So that yeah, looks there was, cloud. <laughs> there was a video of a guy literally putting this over his entire body and walking yeah, into the pool. Yeah, Veritasium, no? No, that's someone else. Yeah, he like walked into the pool and then you could see the water being around him, but it wasn't like on mm. him. Crazy. You can see it falling. You can you can tell it's an actual material for sure. It's just strange trying to like, it looks fake. Taste it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Look, it's just, it stays on the surface of the water. That's so strange. Wait, did you just put it on your entire hand? Yeah, even the parts where there's water, it's like just beating off. <laughs> Dude, look at your thumb underneath the water line. Hold on, we gotta get a camera shot of that. You see how it's like 
beading around his hand. Uh. It's like pushing all of the beads down. All right, well, I think that's dope. Has a lot of purposes, has futuristic purposes. It's yeah. really light. And it has the additional ability to be waterproof. We should just cover our iPhones with it. On to the next, that's a dope. <laughs> <laughs> to the next dope. Guys, this is the world's smallest jigsaw puzzle. Oh! 234 piece puzzle. It's only four inches across. You shut your hole. That's the whole point of a puzzle. You four shut inches holes with other cross. pieces. That's bigger than... Four inches. Yeah, it's about bigger than four inches. Challenge your brain and your dexterity with the world's smallest jigsaw. <laughs> <laughs> so unless you're smaller than average, Quit standing around. Let's go, go, go. you'll probably need to use the included tweezers to complete the task at hand. I want to puzzle like the that design though. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. One where it would like totally fool you where there's like intentional empty spaces. Puzzle yeah, that'd be smart. World, baby. Big fun, little package, the world's smallest jigsaw puzzle. Available now at vat19.com. Big fun, little package. <laughs> Add to cart. <laughs> yeah, see, I, like, I want uh, a puzzle like that. You see what I'm saying? That, that would be cool. Uh, where, where like the pieces would actually fit together incorrectly, but correctly, mm -hmm. right? Like intentionally empty spaces. Yeah. Like, is there any puzzle like that? Can you guys find that? Guys, down in the comments below, what would a puzzle that like that be called? Where like the piece fits, but you know. All right, let's solve the actual puzzle that we got. Ah! <laughs> My fingy! <laughs> My fingy! Ah! So you like <laughs> wow, look oh how small gosh. those pieces are. You, you think Amanda would like this? I bet Amanda would love this. No, she wouldn't. I bet Amanda would love this. I'm gonna take this home to her. I bet she, she had a hard day. And so you're gonna get her puzzled in it? <laughs> Here, let's see. Guys, I'm so confident I can solve this. Check this out. Whoa, look at that guys, done. Chanel did this, not us, we're not this talented. That looks like it would fall apart so easily. Well, it looks like fishies, that's nice. This is really the tiniest Actually puzzle I've ever tiny. seen. Actually tiny, oh my goodness gracious. This has really stressed me out. The fact that Chanel did this much Look, though, I, I found a piece, after. boom. Matt wins, again. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually way easier to do it with these. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it looks like it'd be great. Like, Damn, you what? suck at this. What is <laughs> Matt with puzzles? I got ah! <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> I did it. Uh, no. I don't know what you need. Uh, wow. Uh, oh, it worked. I'll say dope. Here over at greatbigstuff.com. Great Big Stuff. We got the world's biggest usable baseball bat. I'm sorry. Why is the end of that baseball bat bigger than the top of it? The barrel of the other one? <laughs> yeah, look. Look at the end of that one. It's huge. Oh, this? Yeah. Look at that knob. This huge baseball bat is sure to hit a home run with any baseball fan. At nearly six feet long, this bat will have the baseball fanatic in your life going wild. Although it is made of cold cast resin, the realistic wood grain of uh, an embossed branding makes it a great addition to any sport theme room. The wording reads great big stuff, big league, rotary hero series, and the original enormous signature bat. Normally $249, we're gonna get it for $186. Honestly, baseball bats are pretty Personalize expensive. Personalize the text. Duper noop. I'll be stuck first base. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> too many songs. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna add the cart. <laughs> I Jeez. hate this. They forgot to put Dope or Nope on it for sure. Forgot to do that. Oh, yeah, not us. <laughs> no, we forgot to put Dope or Nope on it, but it does say enormous. This is huge, bro. Well, this is kind of, this is not usable. Well, baseball though. hot shot? This is fake. Completely fake. It says usable. Well, yeah, anything's a bat if you swing <laughs> and hit something. Oh gosh, please don't break anything. I'm nervous whenever this kid does it. Yeah, break your wrists. <laughs> hey, Danny! Throws it, you're like. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Actually, I can hold this. Yeah, this dude almost got scattered by the major leagues. Well, any anyone with an email named Baseball Hotshot. <laughs> yeah. When you're a kid, call him out. I don't know. Do I even want to test this? I, I know I can't it's hit anything you. with it. It's just a big bat. Hey, if you guys wanna, if you guys wanna watch me try and hit something with it, comment down below. Maybe we'll do it on Instagram or something. But it's just, it's not an actual baseball bat in terms of like. You can tell it's like the same thing that you get at the at drugstores that are just like these weird resin casts. It's still cool though. This would be cool if you're like, you know. A kid and you want to like make your room baseball theme. You throw this up. Yeah, on the wall. And you're yeah. like, that baseball bat, Johnny. Word around the street is Babe Ruth that thing. <laughs> You'll grow into it. My dad said he hit it across the world. <laughs> Lamo. That's a nope in terms of usability. Yeah. But it's a dope for decoration. I still say no because baseball, no, no good. Baseball, no good. not fan. No good. Here we got the world's smallest toss across game pocket size super impulse tic tac. Super impulse? You ever had a super impulse? <laughs> Those are the things you repress. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like I was responding to you, but I was just finally understanding what this game was. Okay. You pretty much are playing cornhole, but also tic-tac-toe. Cornhole? Cornhole. Playing cornhole. Mixed with tic-tac-toe. What are, are these actually filled with 
beads or something? No, they're just little plastic things. You think? Yeah. What if it's the world's smallest beads? At two, come on! World's smallest. Get it open! Okay, sir. I'm, I'm confused. Are you just, just throwing at it actually change something? Have you never played Toss Across either? Have you never played Toss Across either? <laughs> I don't play change. Toss Across at wa Whataburger. Oh my gosh, why? There we go. Okay, ready? Now we gotta put it where, where it was. Right here, we gotta, we gotta sit back here. Right. I'm X's. Young is first. Well, how do I know? I'm X's. I think you're supposed to shoot from opposite sides of the table. Yeah, so that way when you hit it on the back end. I'm X, you're O's. That's not true. Okay, switch it then. That doesn't make a difference. Literally does. Okay, you'll see. Now I'm O's and you're X's. Yeah, but that, that, that implies that you're gonna always hit it from that side. That's the goal. Yeah, but you can't. Here we go. You don't have that much control. <laughs> Your turn. Here we go. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> so close. Here we go. Yeah, and I still missed. Ah, I'm O. Told you I'm O. Here you go, your third. <laughs> ah, I scored for both of us that <laughs> round. Here we go. Oh, got rid of mine and kept yours. <laughs> this would take absolutely years. Oh, what is it? I'm winning. No. Yes! Here yes. goes for the win. <laughs> <laughs> I win. <laughs> <laughs> that win everything. Dude, you're good at this. You remember how we talked about magic? No. Being 100% luck? Yeah. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> you're magical. Incarnate. So yeah, is that sick or no? Dude? No, that sucked. Yeah. I'm disappointed. Stop. Please stop. We found the world's dumbest invention. And here is a list of some of the world's dumbest inventions. But one that really stood out to us for actually being the world's dumbest invention is the McDonald's Frork. Now, wow. is this one a bit the more fork. subjective? Oh. Absolutely. <gasps> Ew. It's a fry fork. That's what they mean by it. Greetings, my lovelies. Hi, it's Emmy. Welcome to my car. Who's this? <laughs> she has a beautiful car. But the whole reason why I'm here is because today and only today, this Friday, May 5th, McDonald's is going to be giving away the fork. <laughs> Play that again, Robert, for the viewers. This is going to be giving away the fork. <laughs> fork? 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 Punch it on her lips. Fork? What the heck is her mouth doing there? Saying the word fork. Fork? <laughs> fork? Sorry, I don't mean to be bullying her. I'm just curious. Yeah, well, you're a bully. Oh, bully, bully, bully. McDonald's brand new fry fork, limited fork? edition, sold out everywhere. Then why are you selling it? <laughs> this guy's a genius. $13.99 sold for it. Condition new. Uselessly useless. Useful. Uselessly useful. Okay, well, even McDonald's admitted it, so it really does have to be done. We are adding it to cart. I think you're confused because you're trying to make sense of something that is intentionally stupid or dumb. I'm not going to speak on their path. But it looks so like you a stick shovel. fries in it and then you like scoop things up. Yeah, maybe you dip it in the sauces. Yeah, let's look at the instructions there. That's my curiosity. McDonald's is raising the bar. <laughs> All day breakfast, updated McNuggets, and now three new <laughs> Wait, how signature do you, crafted How do you recipes. update a food? It's kind of bad yeah, if you like, have to update you're a food. Eating, you're eating some nuggets and you're like, are these 1.0? <laughs> Elon comes in with the firmware update. He's like, yeah, we're going to go ahead and change some of this, some of that. Uh, and now three new signature crafted recipes. Burger or chicken sandwiches with pico de gallo, guacamole, thick cut apple with smoked bacon, yada, yada, yada. And more. Flavors to be sa <coughs> savored. Sorry, my throat is still getting jacked up by so we solved a problem you never knew you had to help you scoop up every last bite. Introducing the fork. Did the world need this? Nope. Does it work? Kind of. <laughs> Either way, we hope you enjoy, and we can't wait to show you what's next at McDonald's. I, I just, I'm, I'm sad that they just wasted time making this. I gotta see how Lady used it. She's seriously reviewing McDonald's. How many views does this video have? 240. Get after it, Emmy. She's lit. She's lit, dude. I'm jealous. Just reviewing McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can do that. Yeah. Those are going to be the tines of your fork. Tines. That's a deep cut word. <laughs> tines. <laughs> Guessing you don't want any of these. That does not. Do you like my fork? <laughs> <laughs> I do not. <laughs> that, is, that is upsetting. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> no. The straw just pours it all out. All right, I'll try it. <laughs> do it. It's just French fries. I did it. Ouch. All right. Do you this think this is the, the world's dumbest? I think the world's dumbest is too subjective, but it is up there. Maybe it is the world's dumbest. Pretty stupid. I think what kills this from being the world's dumbest is it is intentionally dumb. That is what we call smart. That's why McDonald's did it. So the fact it's trying to be dumb, but it's actually not dumb. Well, it's trying to be dumb and it is dumb. I'm stuck. <laughs> You should use some WD-40. Here we got the world's hardest game. We're not even we're not even having to buy this one. We're just gonna play, uh, see who can be, who can beat it. We're, just a moment while your game loads. seven seconds. Cool math games? Who the heck goes guy? there anymore? Do you guys still go to cool math games if you're in school? <gasps> Tell me down below. Cause we used to, we used to tear it up in middle school. What is this ad? I don't even, is this just a snow ad? <laughs> guys, snow coming your way. <laughs> Frozen, <laughs> again and again. <laughs> 
Oh, what? Jewel? Uh, oh, we couldn't hear him talking. That's why it didn't make sense. <laughs> We're just making fun of the not smoking it. Hey, smoking's cool, kid. <laughs> Play game. Hardest game. Play game, load game, level select. I'm playing. You don't know what you're getting into. Tanner, have you ever played this game? Uh, I've seen it get played. <laughs> so no. Oh, I have played. How is this a cool math game? <laughs> it just didn't move. <laughs> you suck, dude. All right, you go then. <laughs> I got farther. You're not. <laughs> in way less time. Wow, this is the best. Where, you, where are you going? Home. <laughs> you did the exact same thing. No, I'm getting further though. <laughs> <laughs> Up. Dude, why are you so bad at reacting? <laughs> are you kidding? This is pathetic. <laughs> what if you just follow the right one? Oh my oh gosh, <laughs> Tanner! Up, back up. Ooh. Oh, oh, if you would have just oh. took off. Oh, oh my gosh, He's you got there. it. Wow. <laughs> Woo. Dude, you're so good. <laughs> Level two. I'm so glad I got that first try. This one looks easier. It looks like the same one, but harder. Oh, I feel like I can do this. <laughs> I can do this, I can do this. Wait, can you yeah, not you hit the middle You just thing? stop and then turn, yeah. <laughs> Tanner. Come on, dude. All right, I quit, I quit. <laughs> he tries. Oh. <laughs> just circles. I, I like to dance. You got some weird square politics going on in this. No, he's gonna fail right in the second half of this. Once he has to go down, he's gonna yeah. go. <laughs> oh, he should have went up with it. <gasps> no. Ah! <laughs> Maybe this is the hardest game. Oh, you totally what? <laughs> You totally what? touched that. You were so far. I meant to do it. All right, whatever. 50 tries in, we suck. Next, that might be the hardest game. That's a dope. All right, so we have two world's smallest games that what? we're gonna play. Two, two. count them. Talk two. About one. All right, so now that we're done with that dumb tic-tac-toe thing, <laughs> we're gonna do the world's smallest crocodile dentist miniature pocket edition size super impulse. I don't know what it is with small things being I impulse. I love super impulse. I feel like you only go for something small if it's an impulse decision. What? You only go... Yeah, like, like, there's no more six foot boys left on Tinder. Ah, five nine. <laughs> five nine? Five nine. Five nine. <laughs> I was like, what? We're just gonna buy it. It's a crocodile game. I think you just have to get the teeth out or something. Looks stupid. Ah, uh, <laughs> looks stupid. <laughs> buy it now. World's, this is world's stupidest product. Yeah, we'll do the world's stupidest, <laughs> smallest product. <laughs> crocodile dentist. Is he waiting for you to like pan down or something? <laughs> yeah, what? What the heck is this? Have you never played crocodile dentist before? Can you punch out? Hi. I'm crocodile dentist. Wait, you're the crocodile dentist. Yeah, you're it's not fixing dentist. his teeth. I thought he was gonna fix my teeth. I need help. Here we go. Wow. Look at that. Look at how many useless products there are. <laughs> Precision rubber band system. That's a rubber band shooting gun. Lame. I don't like that either. I don't like that. Oh, it's this dumb thing. Okay. What happens is you take turns pressing down the teeth. Whoever presses down the wrong tooth, they get bit. Ah, my fingy. Matt, we're gonna play. Fun fact, Matt and I both had the same broken tooth at the exact same time for a while. Remember that? No. Okay. All right, Matt, push the tooth down. You just push two teeth down. That was gonna both my turn. All right, you gotta pick one. One. 50-50. <gasps> we actually left the only tooth up? That <laughs> you is were. impressive. It's remarkable. All right, best two out of three. Here we go. Uh, okay. Yeah, only one. <laughs> <laughs> it's stuck on my fingy. <laughs> <laughs> this kid loses everything. It's the world's dumbest game. Cause you lose? <laughs> that one? Oh, that one is big dumb? Yeah. Guys, if you guys loved this video, go ahead and check out that video right there. That is... Tanner's mom's house. <laughs> Go check her out. <laughs> that's a list of the customized <laughs> products. That, that's a customized products playlist. Go ahead and check out that playlist Fork. right there. Super sick. Also, boom, check this out. This is a video YouTube recommends just for you. Make sure you guys liked in order to hit that like to buy. Make sure you guys subscribe. We'll smell you later. Let us know what Fork. you guys think. Fork? Goodbye. Goodbye? Fork?